वेलकम टू सी एस सी एम एन एज वी नो दैट इंटरनेट इज ए नेटवर्क ऑफ नेटवर्क वेर लोड्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर डिवाइस और मिलियन और बिलियन ऑफ कंप्यूटर और इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइस आर कनेक्टेड टूगेदर टू शेयर इन्फॉर्मेशन और डेटा फ्रॉम वन ऑन अदर एंड वेन वी कम्युनिकेट यूजिंग दीज डिवाइस देन वी मस्ट हैव ए सिक्योरिटी सिस्टम दैट facilitates the secure communication among these devices so in this video we are about to learn about firewall and firewall is nothing it's a software or the hardware systems that are used to facilitate the security of the systems that we are that ab about to communicate one another in the internet or the any network so firewall firewall is a network security system as you know that when we about to create a network then we must have a security system that facilitates the secure communication among these devices the main purpose of the creating any network is to facilitate the communication or the data transmitting between these devices or nodes that we about to connect so firewall is a network security systems that are used to prevent the unauthorized access to or from a network for a private network in other words we can say that firewall is works like a filter like a ozone ozone layer of our atmosphere that used to filter the or ultraviolet rays coming from the coming from the sun rays so we say that the firewall is a system or a device that used to monitor the incoming and outgoing packets from the internet or from the network in non te technical way we can say that the firewall is a wall that are used to provides the safety or prevents our system from the fire it and firewall can be implemented as hardware or software firewall that's why it is also categorized as hardware or software firewall and let's see here how it actually works let's assume that when we request any data or the client requested any data or information from the internet then this data comes with comes with a small packets and these packets are also contains the un unwanted data or the malicious content in this figure we see see that we the, the data information comes along with the green data symbol green and red is the unwanted data symbols we requested for the data that we actually need is the green data green in this in this figure we see that here are the green lines while with the green lines also comes with the red that is the unwanted or the malicious content so firewall is used to filter these unwanted data that could be any malicious content might be any virus or the anything else um, that uh, any unauthorized persons could be sent with these packets so firewall used to filter this data and after filtering we get the actual data or the safe data that we are requested for and we get the safe and secure data and the information we need and what kind of firewall we usually used in our network or the system to facilitate the safety environment or the create a safety environment so there are the four fire firewalls are widely used to perform the safety measures for for our networks first one is the packet filtering firewall second is the application level firewall also known as the proxy firewall and the third one is the circuit level firewall and the last one is the hybrid firewall so let's describe these in individuals first one the packet filtering firewall packet filtering firewall is the firewall that used to filter the packets that comes with the data let's see that when we about to download any file assume that we are about to download a 200 mb video or the music files from the internet then these files doesn't comes with with exactly 200 files these files are broken down into a small pieces known as data packets or the information packets sometimes also it is called ip or data packets 
and these packets contains two kinds of inf information first one in the sender receiver and the ip addresses ad addresses that are used for the addressing that so where is the packet is to be go and where it comes from and another second part is the information part of the data part that is also called payload so these packets contains two kinds of information first one is the ad for addressing and second one is the information so packet filtering is the filtering firewall is the firewall that only checks the the packets comes from the internet is uh, is the right right packet that uh, sender sends to the receiver it's just match the sender and receiver ip addresses and when it match it's just allow allow to enter in our network so in this firewall we see that the packet filtering only perform the checking of the packets source and destination ports numbers and when the ports numbers are matched the data is accepted otherwise it is rejected and it doesn't checks the what kind of information or data it contains so sometimes packet filtering firewall doesn't provides the better security or the better fil filtering mm -hmm. because these information parts of the payload might be contain some malicious or unwanted content that were not request requested for next one in the application layer firewall application layer fire firewall is a firewall that works like a gateway gateway or the network gateway between the one or another network or between the client and the servers let's take an example that i'm i need a pen and you are about to buy a pen for me and you go to the shop and shopkeepers know only know that the you are the actual persons that about to buy a pen or the you buying a pen for you that's shopkeeper knows but shopkeeper doesn't have idea or information about the actual actual owner or act, actual owner of this pen is or you buying a pen for me so in this application layer firewall application layer firewall facilitates a server or the virtual terminal that's works like a actual and it used to hides the customer identity well so application layer firewall is the firewall that used to hide the customers and the user identity and it doesn't allow the server know about the who is the actual client that requested for any packets or the data and the third one is the circuit level firewall Circuit level firewall is the firewall that works in the session layer of the OSI model and uh, it's used to monitor the TCP handshaking for the legitimate packets that are about to comes from the web. TCP handshaking means when we about to as we know know that the TCP the transmission control protocol that uh, works on on a connection oriented connection ori oriented network. So when we about to connect to the server we send a request to the server that we need to connect for the proper communication then server sends the feedback or the acknowledgement for these requests and after the acknowledgement comes from the server then client are able to send data to the server so this technique is known as the tcp handshaking and the circuit level firewall is used to monitor these handshaking tcp handshaking for the legitimate and the legitimate mean the genuine packets that we requested for and the fourth one is the hybrid firewall hybrid firewall can be defined as a combination of both uh, com combination of uh, these three firewalls that is application firewall or application level firewall circuit level firewall and packet filtering firewall when we combine two or more firewalls to create a firewall then we get the hybrid firewall and uh, here are the design principles when you about to design any principles then we design in firewall then we have to follow some principles or the manners that used to provide a better and effective way to create or design a firewall so these are the three basic and the essential principles that need to be followed when we about to create any firewall first one is the 
all the traffic must pass through the firewall. As we know that the firewall is used to facilitate or the monitor facilitate the filtering or the monitor all the packets. So when we about to design a firewall, then all the packets must be passes through the firewall. And when these packets are passes through the firewall, only the authorized traffic is to be allowed. So in the second point, we say that the only authorized traffic is allowed to pass from the firewall. And the third one is the firewall itself immune to penetrations. Means firewall must have to work like a system that is already secured, secured, like an operating system so where we can trust easily that these systems we created is already secured and it is not affected by the any other content or the programs. And here we are about to describe the firewall limitations. These terms are defined that what kind of operations firewall can't handle or it can't provide the security when this is happens. First one is the firewall cannot prevent against attackers that bypass the firewalls. Sometimes firewall is not active in our systems then it could be easily bypassed by the any attackers that we about to access our systems that is not genuine client to the user and second one is the employee misconduct or the carelessness cannot be controlled by firewall so when any organizations employee about to damage our systems then firewall doesn't have any kind of role play any roles to care control these misconducts performed by the employee of any organizations and uh, Firewall doesn't have capability to protect ag against the transfer of virus infected programs or files. Suppose that when we about to send any file or the files or, or the information that is already infected, then firewall doesn't have the capability to check check for these files that is all already contains some malicious content. So it's bypass this data that comes along with the actual data. So when any we send any virus infected files, it doesn't protect ag against from these files. And thank you. Thanks for watching. I hope you like the video. Thank you.